If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video, guys. And today we have the Bow Nose players. As you guys know, every week out on Monday, we get four new Bow Nose players. And it's been going on for a few weeks, uh, I believe up until like the 27th of December, so right after Christmas. But before we get into the video, guys, if you're into the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that on bell, give this a big thumbs up as always. And of course, comment down below. Let me know who is your favorite Bow Nose players of this specific drop. We have four pretty good players here. Some guys with some good stats. Obviously, these cards are all going to have good stats. It's just a matter of positioning and if they'll be of use or not. Because, of course, we all know that does change from here to there, right? But, guys, if you want to check out Underdog Fantasy, my link will be down below in the description. If you use my code and or my link, you will get up to a free 100 bucks in your first deposit. So, make sure you check that out. It's the Daily Fantasy app. And then, of course, if you need coins, head on down below to my sponsor and make sure to use my code for an additional 3% off. But let's head into this, guys. So as you know, there is no solos for the bonus players. So that's kind of the only thing that sucks a little bit. So it's like, there's not really much to go ahead and do. Like, I'm well, by solos, I mean there are solos, but you just get those 85s. There's like no free solos. There's no like big grind solo where you collect like all the guys to make one. There's no big free one. Realistically, you really just have to buy them. But again, you can't go ahead. And you can play the week twos and the week threes and keep going on with it. Collect your 85s and do what you got to do. I'm just saying that you're not going to get the free free one, which is kind of what sucks a little bit here. But let's check out the new ones on the auction block and let's go see if they are live. It's been about a few minutes here since they went live. So usually they should be up by now. Um, the a bow nose offer tonight at 11 p.m. 94 overall bow nose players for 20 bucks. That's really not bad. That's not bad. So that's coming up. And then we have, let's see, let's see, let's, see, let's go to the regular packs here. So that's it. There's really no nothing really impacts a rip right now. You got the guys. If you're gonna be opening packs, you really want to go, I guess, and just do Fletcher Fantasy Bundles or some of those. You're, there's really not like any packs that are gonna push you to, specifically towards that. But like I said, there will be a 94 overall bow nose tonight. But otherwise, guys, there's really like the, the pull rates are just increased in packs, but there's really no like specific pack to get them. So you're kind of dealing with that as you do throw it throughout it because that's kind of just all it's kind of all you can do. And it does kind of suck for a lot of people who want to just go ahead and open up specific bundles. Now, I do like it in the sense that it's like the older days and it's like you just open packs and you can get any card versus having to open up theme packs and then theme packs only get those cards. But at the same time, a lot of people don't like that either. So it's really, uh, it's really, it's a controversial thing in terms of if they should or shouldn't. Okay, so let's start with one of the new ones. Let's see who is live. We have the newest up to Lynn Swan. Oh, he's a new one. Wide receiver for the Steelers. Route running archetype. 93 speed, so off the rip, it's good speed. 91 jumping, 94 catching, 93 catching traffic, 94 spec, medium, 93 deep route running. So, gonna be an all threshold route runner. He's going to be an all threshold catcher. He's going to be fast. Now, the only thing, he's not gonna be very different from a lot of cards we have in the game right now. Like, he's not hitting that 94 speed. He's not taking that next rating jump. He's really kind of just, he's kind of just there with everyone else. Now, maybe the behind the cards that differentiates him a little bit. 94 change of direction, so that's really good. 93 spin. 80, uh, sorry, 88 spin, 93 juke, 94 spec, 93 catch traffic, 93 break tackle. So we're being honest here, guys. This card is just about as good as every good 94 wide receiver, right? Like, he's not the same as every wide receiver, but he's as good as all the good ones. All the good ones have all route running, all of, all the catching, 93 speed. Look good behind the card route, uh, like running, right, with the ball in his hands. So he's really not going to be too different from the rest of them. If we're being quite honest here, he's not bad. But like, I, like, if he's cheap price, like he is, like it's not, it's not, it's not a bad idea at all. Then we have Randall Cunningham. Actually, I'm gonna click down here so I can get a one that doesn't go away right away. Now, this is everyone's favorite one. Randall Cunningham is going to the 95 overall. All right, he's going to get a few things here. And if I'm not mistaken, guys, this may be the guy who gets the gunslinger and the escape artist. I mean, you're gonna have to check and really see uh, once you get it, of course, based on the attributes. But He's an improviser. He gets 95 overall. He'll have 94 speed at uh, quarterback. Right up there with Vic and Lamar. But he gets 95 throw power. So that's what's crazy about it. He gets 95 throw power as well. He gets all 90 throwing. He gets all 90. He gets, he gets all 90 everything. He's going to be one of the best quarterbacks in the game based on abilities. Well, depending on abilities. He also gets 78 catching, which is super weird. I don't know if you run any routes where the quarterback catches the ball. But if you do, this is a spot where he's going to be able to be useful. In. His agility is great. Is a uh, juke move and spin move both me 95, so he's gonna be crazy in the open field. 95 change of direction, 95 ball carrier vision, break sacks only 86, 94 break tackle. This card is just another really, really, really good card. 
He's probably the best quarterback in the game. I mean, you're going to have to buy him, take a look, and see what abilities he can get. I'm, I feel like he can get Gunslinger and Escape Bars, which just make him the glitchiest quarterback in Madden, unless he plays really horrible, but he's going to be fun. And it's hard enough to deal with Escape, escape Bars. is hard to deal with this year. The problem is everyone needs Gunslinger a bit more than Escape Bars, right? That's why people go Gunslinger. But when you use Escape Bars, it's still deadly. So if you can get both, it's going it's to be GG. I mean, it's just, it's just good, right? It's good to have a guy with both. Mike Singletary, middle linebacker, field general. Only 91 speed. Now, this does kind of hurt because I'm pretty sure Keek did like a 93. Linebackers are not that great as they are, as it is, right? So they need good speed to even be considered. 91 speed is a little bit slow. He has 90 excel, 90 strength, which is decent. 91 tackling, which is decent. 92 play rack is good. 93 block shot's good. 94 hit bowers, 90 zone. So he's like he's like a slightly worse Luke Keekly. That's the only problem with him. Like he has the zone, the hit power, the block shed, and the speed's a 91. I just wish the speed was more like a 93, 94. Because there's really nowhere else to go up for linebackers since they can't animate and they don't play too well. Even if they have the block shit power zone, it doesn't really excite people. You're going to have to have like that game changing speed to really make a difference. And he's only 5'11 as well. So this card's not going to be great. 93 jumping, 70 catching. 87 change of direction is a bit low too. 94 impact blocking, 70 catching traffic. This uh this card's not that great, in my opinion, out of the three so far. Like the first two were pretty. The first two were deep. Like Lynn Swan was as good as the good ones. My single Terry is below the good ones, in my opinion. And then Randall Cunningham is above everyone else. He's not horrible. I mean, no, he's kind of horrible. I mean, I don't, I don't think he's great. Maybe not Bears theme team, he'd be really good. But I really don't see an opportunity for him to be like a top tier card at all. Or even like a decent card. Then we have Vince Wilfork. Defensive tackle for the Pats. Now, that is why I've been clicking on ones really far down. Because that's literally what always happens. And it's very frustrating. Let's see if I can just find it like this. Make it a little bit easier. Um... Vince Wilfork, there we go, 240. Now, Vince Wilfork, defensive tackle, so don't, you know, we're not expecting too much great here. We're just expecting a pretty decent guy. 80 speed, 88 excel. Now, for a Vince Wilfork card, that's actually super fast. That is not bad. 88 excel is great, like I said. 94 strength is really good. 91 tackle is good. 90 play rex is good. 93 block shed, 93 power move, 92 finesse move. So, threshold power move guy, threshold block shed guy. He's going to be 325, 6 foot 2. Pretty good speed in excel. It's not bad. Uh, 84 jumping. 90 awareness not bad at all 94 impact blocking 87 lead blocking and then we got 88 hit power so this car's not bad i mean i wish the hit power was about a 90 just to make sure it was almost like guaranteed fumbles when you hit people pretty hard in the backfield sometimes you know when defensive tackles get free releases off the uh, center of the guards it's pretty funny i don't know if you ever realize this when defensive tackle comes right off the guy quickly with a quick shed if you hit stick it's almost like always a fumble also they're really just really good at forcing fumbles i guess it's because their hit power is usually pretty good and they're heavy but guys about it for the video if i'm gonna rank them Worst, Mike Singletary, third, Vince Wilfork, second, Lynn Swan, and first, Randall Cunningham. Randall Cunningham is going to be an absolute beast. If we do filter this out here, he's going to be cheap too. I mean, you're going to be able to get him for like 150 or 160. I mean, obviously, he's going to come back up because he's the best one. But if enough people keep pulling him, he keep, he'll keep coming down. But he's probably going to end up sitting around 200k when all is said and done or a little bit above because he's that good. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. Comment down below, let me know which one was your favorite one. And of course, you guys want to check out Underdog Fantasy, head on down below and use code Poodle and use my link as well. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.